This Greek Cypriot woman just lost her son, shot to death by a Turkish soldier in the buffer zone that has divided Cyprus since 1974, when 35,000 Turkish troops invaded the northern part of the island, forcibly displacing 200,000 Greek Cypriots and triggering a conflict that claimed thousands of lives. Nearly 20 years later, those memories are still alive in demonstrations like this one, led by Cypriot activists crossing the Turkish-imposed border in protest of an occupation that has defied international law. Greek Cypriots have continued to press for an accounting of more than 1,600 victims of the invasion who are still considered missing but suspected dead. This dramatic footage is from Cyprus television. There is no other country, no president in the world of so many missing people, 1,619 people missing for such a long time. In late May, the president of the Cypriot Republic met with President Clinton as the United Nations takes another stab at resolving the issue. America's military ties to Turkey have been some of the factors in Washington's low profile on the Cyprus issue in the past. Turkey defends its policy, saying the Greeks have their own territorial ambitions. Significantly, leaders of the Bosnian Serbs have pointed to the Turkish occupation of Cyprus as a precedent for their own land grabbing. For rights and wrongs, this is Glenn Beatty.